Dogs on the loose. A vicious attack has people in Florida on edge. Police say four pit bulls broke out of their neighbor's yard and gave three women serious injuries. Thank you for joining us. I'm Art Holliday. Mike Bush and Ann Allred have the night off. Jasmine Payute has been following this dog attack. She's live in Florissant where she learned neighbors jumped in to help. Jasmine. All right, this story is a little graphic. Today I spoke with a woman who jumped in to help who is also a grandmother. She says this is the first time since COVID-19 that she jumped in to help someone else unexpectedly. She was right down here. How I heard her, I, I don't know. It's, it's amazing. Robin Hanley says what brought her out of her home Tuesday was the kind of shrieking scream that nightmares are made of. They had torn the flesh and that was open. She was just a bloody mess, hysterical and just screaming for her for her life, just screaming for her life. She had a water bottle and she kept saying, this is all I had. This is all I had. Police say the woman was walking along the 1400 block of Angeles when four dogs attacked. After Robin yelled for aid, another woman was the first to hear her cries. Women are the ones that are the toughest. They're the ones that came out to help. You know, none of the men driving by in cars stopped. But right in front of them, a young man who did what he could. Until I started seeing like blood come out of her head and her feet and stuff. I'm like, oh no, I have to call the police like immediately. 13 year old Chase Jernstead is still in shock after watching from home. Because I was talking really fast. I was like trembling. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The dogs eventually ran off towards Patterson Road, where one of them was hit and killed by a car. Robin still in disbelief. She walked away without so much as a scratch or broken nail. Yeah, that dog was right there. We were eye to eye and I wasn't afraid. For some reason, I was not afraid. I had no fear until the ambulances left and then we realized what just hit us. She believes her husband, who died in April, was fighting alongside her. My girls and I always now say, you know, WWDD, what would dad do? You know, and I say, what would Tim do? But I know he had to have been with me. <laughs> it was scary. I just hope I never see anything like this again, ever. I never want to see any human being torn up like that. And I, I hope they put those dogs to sleep and somebody's held responsible. We asked Florissant Police about any possible charges for the dog's owners. They say St. Louis Animal Control has taken custody of the dogs and will continue this investigation. Live tonight, Jasmine Payute, Five on your side.